week, another central bank policy decision. Well, actually two. And that means that when it comes to our sentiment study, we're taking a look at another FX pair. Hello, everyone. Monty here. Marco Alice at IG. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take a look at uh, IG client sentiment. Start us off with for uh, GPUSD with a week on week at the start of last week, it was majority buy territory, heavy buy, I should say, at 66%. There's still majority buy at the start of this week. That's the outer circle. They're still in heavy buy territory, and they actually raised it at the start to 71%. It has pulled back a little bit at the start of this week because this morning, as of publishing, they started to, the, the, some of those sales started to initiate, anticipating for the losses, a little bit of, of some of those fresh longs getting out as well. Now, that's when it comes to IG client sentiment. What about when it comes to COT speculators, institutional sentiment? You can see that they're also majority buy also in heavy buy territory, but they have been pulling back just a little bit. Inner circle is from the week before, outer circle is for last week. Uh, these are out of the CFTC release on Friday, positioning as of last Tuesday. And you can see that not because there was a drop in longs, there actually was an increase in long, it's because there was an even larger increase when it comes to shorts, and that's taken it from 67 to 66%. So once again, very similar story when it comes to USD in the sense that both uh, client sentiment as well as CO2 speculators in the same direction, majority buy buys, prior to the event. But here's the thing, once again, difference in terms of how they got there. So let's go in and take that and look through the best part of this, which is mapping it onto the chart. And you can see that this is GPUSD on the daily time frame. So every candlestick represents a day of price action. And then what we're going to do is we're going to map sentiment onto it. Uh, blue dotted line is IG client sentiment. Green dotted is uh, uh, COT speculators. And you got to look at the left axis because it's going to be as percent long. So when you see the blue dotted line at say 32%, that means that they're by 32%. And 68% are sell, which means they are majority sell. To make this easier, you got to put in that red line because that red line is 50%. So whenever you see the, blue, the dotted line, blue or green, below it, it means that they're majority short. Whenever you see the dotted line above it, it means that they're majority buy. And that just sort of makes it easier to help us understand where, what exactly has been happening. Very similar to your USD because it's been a story of, as of late of dollar strengthening in the FX market over the past several months. So that means that anything priced against the greenback hasn't been generally in for retreat. So you see your USD dropping, in this case, GVP USD dropping. What happens as, as price drops? Shorts get enticed into closing out, long start to initiate. And you look at the blue dotted line, IG client said it, when you can see that at the start, they were majority sell territory. So they were, in the, they were on the right side of the trade. Price starts to drop, shorts get out, longs initiate, and then after they shifted to majority buy. And then as price remains close to a certain average, they're constantly going back and forth, range trading these moves. So going from majority, you know, staying in within majority, moderate majority buy territory, coming back towards the middle, briefly going to majority sell. And then finally, after the latest drop in price from, from the 126, 127, all the way down into uh, the 124 is roughly, you're seeing sentiment go up and start to reach, not breach, uh, the sentiment that we saw with COT speculators. In, in terms of seeing how similar this is when it comes to your USD, here's your, your USD's daily chart. This is what we had in our last sentiment study, and you can see a very similar story, right? Price comes back down. You see the blue dotted line go up into majority buy territory. And throughout this period, green dotted line in buy territory, which means COT speculators throughout this period of time in majority buy, ter majority buy territory. So where exactly is the difference? We got to zoom out towards the weekly time frame and take a look at GVUSD to get a better idea. To put things into perspective, for your USD, spec COT speculators were majority by territory this entire time. Not so when it comes to the pound. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and plot the two once more. And once again, to make things easy, our cheat right there, we're going to put our red line in the middle so we can see exactly when they're majority short versus majority buy. And you can see that COT speculators actually were in majority short territory before. They were positioning for further losses. Though to, to be fair, they actually had positioned well before that significant move lower. So they were kind of, you know, it's a bit like a snowball going down a mountain. And then as it moves in favor, they sort of add to positions uh, going with the momentum instead of positioning opposite or going against the move. So in this case, prior to this, they were majority short territory. And then when prices start to recover, shorts start to get a little bit impatient and they started to close out. And generally speaking, they were in, in moderate majority short territory, then shifting around the beginning of the second quarter of this year, shifting into moderate majority buy territory before kicking it up a notch into heavier buy territory, but never really going into the extreme like we saw with the euro. So they've always been a bit more cautious when it comes to the pound compared to what we saw with the euro. What about when it comes to client sentiment? You can see that every time they stayed in it within a certain average, they stayed closer to 50% and a lot of range trading started to take place. Once it moved out of that range, you saw uh, over here, you saw shorts get out, longs initiate. So going to majority buy, and as price comes back, coming right back. And this time when they go up, they go to a majority sell. Price comes back, they come right back. Price went up this time and kind of overshot a little bit from, from their perspective because you can see that that's when they started to go into heavy uh, sell territory as, as, as shorts continue to initiate. But as it came back, much more quickly, 
very quick to go back to the middle. And as of late, because it started to breach that bull trend channel, very similar to what we saw with the Euro USD sentiment study, seeing them jump up into heavy buy territory. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Baiji's uh, trading platform. And this is on the weekly chart, just to give you guys an idea. You know, we were looking at this period over here. You look back and you see this volatility, and this is the reason why you'll see them very more cautious after you see a big volatile moves, you know, big squeeze like that. And this is the reason why you see all, as well CO2 speculators a little more cautious about when to unwind. They initiated prior going short, but they're very, very cautious about afterwards. You know, those who are anticipating further losses and saying, oh, well, you know, technicals are still bearish. They're very, very slow to unwind before finally shifting towards majority by territory, and even then a little bit more cautious. You can find, by the way, IG client sentiment right over here. Instead of looking at chart, you got news, signals, and then right over here, client sentiment. So that's about it from our end. Good luck out there because we've got the central bank decisions from both the FOMC, BOE, and a whole lot more. But when it comes to GBP, USD, those are two to be mindful of. Good luck out there. And as always, happy ticks.